Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to the channel. We uh, got a nice cold day here in Virginia. Uh, wind chills in the teens and it's too windy to do any tree work. So I'm gonna do some odds and ends uh, around my property. One of the things I wanna do today is build a saw buck so that I can take all the scraps I've generated from my sawmill and uh, break them down for firewood processing. Um, and I, I built a couple of these over the years. Uh, my most recent one, finally after about seven or eight years, had been whittled away by the chainsaw and, and uh, uh, beat by the weather and uh, I ended up uh, chucking that one. So it's time to build a new one. Uh, I'm gonna base this on a, a design I saw done by Oregon Old Timer here on YouTube and I'll put a link to his video down below. It's a little bit different design for saw book, but I think it makes more sense for sawmill scraps. So uh, first thing I wanna do is uh, I'm out here in my junkyard, I call it. And I've got all kinds of weird things out here I haven't wanted to throw, throw away. Uh, I've got some old firewood racks some uh, scrap, scrap lumber, some leftover lumber, and I'm gonna just kinda go through everything and see if I can pull out uh, what I need to get this built. So stick around, we'll get started.
All right, there's our finished saw buck. Uh, you know, this is really more of a, a crib uh, style wood holder, I'd say. You know, traditional saw buck has that X shape, and I think that makes sense for holding a log um, to be bucked up. And, and I've used that style for many years for, for sawing logs, but uh, for sawmill scraps, I think this shape just makes a lot more sense, and I think it's gonna work out a lot better. So um, again, thanks to Oregon Old Timer on YouTube for the idea to, to do it uh, this particular shape. Uh, mine's a little bit different than uh, what he did just, just because I was trying to use up uh, the, the lumber that uh, I had, and, and I'm going for a little bit different uh, type of a function. Uh, we'll see when I start using it how well that works out, but um, I spaced it. I generally cut my firewood at 16 inches long, so I spaced it uh, so that when the saw goes down through these openings, I'll be getting 16 inch uh, pieces of uh, firewood. And hopefully those wide two by eights will hold uh, the wood so it doesn't fall onto the ground. Um, this will let me cut, uh, you know, about a 64 inch long uh, scrap without anything falling on, on the ground. But um, most likely I'm gonna be putting eight foot pieces and 12 foot pieces on this and, and whatever hangs off the ends, um, I'll just have to pick a, up off the ground. Um, or if this works really good, heck, I'll just build another one and double the length. Uh, wouldn't it be too hard to do that? So uh, anyways, that's that's how it came out. Uh, it's real good, uh, it's very solid and very heavy. So I think that's another benefit. Uh, this is gonna hold um, scraps pretty securely well while I'm sawing through them. So uh, in part two, uh, which I'll film tomorrow, I'm gonna try this out, see how it works, uh, see if I can mow through the pile of uh, cutoffs I have for my sawmill. And I got a big stack out here. Uh, that's several weeks worth of sawing uh, lumber, uh, probably three or four trees worth of uh, scraps there. And uh, uh, so I'm gonna see if I can break that down and use it for uh, firewood um, and we'll, We'll see how this guy works out. So stay tuned for part two tomorrow. In the meantime, thanks for watching.